Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Cryptoware. So today we are going to learn about how to set up our lab for malware analysis. And uh, in the last video, we learned about how to set up your VM. So today we are going to set up the lab and perform few configuration that we have to do. So before that, for setting up Flare VM, we need to make sure that we are providing enough storage to the VM because Flare VM requires some 60 to 70 GB of storage. And here we can see that the storage is around 40 GB. So we would just increase it. So here, as you can see, we'll go to file. We'll choose virtual media manager and choose your VM where you are going to perform your analysis. And from here, you can increase the storage. I'll just put it around 164 GB. I'll click on apply and it's done. So you can see that now your uh, storage is increased. Once you are done, we'll start the machine and we'll start with uh, performing some configuration over here. So once your VM starts, this is how it looks like. And you can we can start with uh, disabling some, uh, some configurations, like we'll disable Windows Defender, we'll disable Windows Update, because they might interfere while you're performing malware analysis, because we are going to actually install and we might run an actual malware into this virtual machine so that we can perform the monitoring and the dynamic analysis part. And Windows Defender uh, might not let you do so. And Windows Update will keep on updating, so we do not need that as well. So you just click on here and click on Run. Right, so this is dot MSC. Let's click on this. Here you can look for Windows update. Let me just put it to full screen. So while scrolling down, you can see Windows update is here. You can double click on it or you can click on stop from here. It will stop it. You can click on properties just to see if everything is set up properly. You'll click on disabled from here as well so that on res uh, restarting your device, uh, your machine, it does not get enabled. Click on apply and then click on OK. Now for uh, Defender, we'll just click on Windows Security. Go to Virus and Threat Action. Threats found. Okay, sorry, we do not need to take any actions on threat. We'll just go to Manage Settings. So we'll click on manage settings. We'll turn off real-time protection. We'll turn all these things off so that it does not interfere with your malware analysis process. Now the next thing that we would need to do is a lot uh, is to disable or we would like to see the uh, extensions basically a lot of time what happens that we are not able to see the extension of the files that are getting downloaded and we do need to see because uh, it sometimes the malicious file might look like is just a pdf file but it might be an executable so we'll click on view and go to the options change folder and search options, view, 
and show hidden files and folders. Make sure you have selected that and hide extensions. Make sure that you have unchecked this. So these two things are already set up. So this is the entire setup that you have done over here for performing your malware analysis. Now the next thing that you would need to do is setting up the Flare VM. So you can download Chrome in your machine, in your virtual machine. From here, you can download Chrome. So I'll get back to you once I, uh, I'm done with uh, the installation of Chrome over here. So it gets easier for you to work. Once your Chrome is downloaded, you can uh, download, it from, uh, download it from Microsoft Edge as well. Whichever browser it is possible, you may choose another browser as well. It is not necessary to you know, install Chrome and perform, but it gets easier for you. So the next thing that we'll look for is Flare VM GitHub. So we'll open the first option. So for Flare VM installation, it will give you all the details how you need to download. You need to have 60 GB hard drive, as I mentioned, because you need space after the VM is downloaded and minimum 2 GB RAM. And we have provided enough RAM for the same. Now for installation, we download and copy this. So just save it. Suppose since it's already saved over here, I'll not save it. Now, as it says, open PowerShell as an administrator. So I'll click here, type PowerShell, right click over here so that you can run it as administrator. Now you need to move to that folder where you have installed, install dot, uh, downloaded install.ps1. Most of the time it gets uh, downloaded in the download section. Or you can simply open the file option. You can check where it is downloaded. And from here you can click on copy the path. Downloads is not here, sorry. So we have downloads over here. Yeah, so we are here. Let's follow the next steps. So it gives you, it asks you to run a couple of commands. So you click over here, you copy and paste it. Since these things have already been done, I'm just showing you how you can do it. You can again copy and paste it. It will run, it will ask you a number of questions. You can set it as default as well. Or do you want to change the execution policy? You can click on yes to all or A. Since it has already been done by me, so I'm not performing this right now. And finally, you can do this. Or if you have set up a password, you can write this and I'll show you. Since the password, default password is this. So you can type this instead of just writing this and click on, and you can run it. Press enter and it will run. And it will take a lot of time. So just have patience so that after it gets installed, you can see how it looks like. So it will take some time, some hours, depending upon your internet speed.
So once your installation is done, Flare VM installation is done, you would see that there is a folder that appears over here and the background also changes. It's fine if it does not. So that is not an issue. So it is all set up. While performing malware analysis, we will set up other tools if there is anything that we require while performing, uh, while examining the malicious software. Now, once you're done with all these things, you are done with the setup of your lab. You have to take a snapshot because this is the one which is completely uninfected and is completely ready for malware analysis. So after analyzing a specific malware, you use, uh, why do we use snapshots? For example, I'll go to here, take, click on take snapshot. You can type the name as a uh, snapshot one, uninfected. You can give your description and you can click on OK. So it will create a snapshot. So what happens that after you are done with the setup, after you have created the lab, when you start performing malware analysis, your system gets, your VM gets infected. So to perform analysis of the next malware, you can use your snapshot, which is the non-infected one, and you can get back to it and perform a fresh analysis. So once it is done, you can see how it looks like. And finally, we are ready for malware analysis. So we'll just close it. See, when you power off, you can restore current snapshot. When you, you have performed your first malware or second malware analysis or whichever nth malware analysis. So while we will be performing all those things, you'll get to see and we'll get more acquainted with what we are trying to do. So that's it for today's video. Uh, we'll meet in the next video in the next session we'll, where we'll, we will be performing the static analysis. We'll start with performing static analysis of the malicious files. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye.